What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Greg. Go crazy, go crazy. Yes, we are back here with another video. I know y'all like, dang, he really posting for real. Y'all haven't really seen me post for real, for real life, being life. And, but like I said, we are back now, back in full effect. Now, in order to make this new Giannis Antetokounmpo build for season five on NBA 2K24, these are the stats you're gonna wanna put. Now me, I made this build the way I feel it is best as I've tested different things on this game. It's some things you could tweak. It's some things you could keep. Some things you really depend on you for real. But me and the way I made this build, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like it's perfect just for Giannis. If you wanna make a build that can shoot just a little bit, you really don't need a high three ball on this game. You get good finishing on this build because it is Giannis at the end end of the day it's Johnny for the playmaking I mean the playmaking I, you really don't need too many dribble moves on this game for real for real you're a small forward basically center you're Giannis Giannis don't really dribble like that in order to get the good dunk packages for a big build like this it's really not even that possible it really depends on you but if you are a versatile player and you want to learn how to do stuff this is the build for you now for the finishing you're gonna want to put the driving dunk at a 94 you see I put the driving dunk at a 94 spoil for for a specific reason so you can get the good finishing badges hall of fame some if you need them now for the shooting you do get good shooting you get an 84 midi which is great on this game because in this game mid range it boosts your shot where you can get the good jump shot basis and animation it's more important than the three ball this year i don't know how i don't know why but that's just the way it is now for the defense as you can see you get great defense or bad you get some so if you're going to get silver anchor max on this build i tried to tweak it where you could get it on at least gold but gold to silver really is really not that big of a difference in this game and like i said you're a small four if you want to try to get it on you know go hey tweak the build where you want to do it now look you get gold pulse rise on this build gold area wizard you get silver two gold chase down it really depend on chase down because the blocks in this game you can get them but it's not really too common i'm not sure why but that's just the way this game works now gold bulldozer bulldozer is a good badge on this game i'm not gonna lie bulldozer is very effective i have it on my other 6a small four which was the first build i made on this game my, not technically second really but it's the first build i actually use and i still really kind of use it i don't really use it as much but it's still usable when i want to bully people and dunk on people because that's the only build i have that does have contact dunk but contact dunks i mean it's okay if you want to use them if you're a slasher contact dunks are great for you but me i kind of like the slash but it's not really what i can do it's good but in this game they like to make the green window so small for contact dunks it's really kind of crazy it's like bro y'all serious bro for the contact dunk window it's so small so that build is it's, it's they patched it basically i'm not gonna lie they kind of patched my small forward build because i made a way to get contact dunks they kind of useful just a little bit and I also gave him good gold bulldozer. Now gold bulldozer is usable in this game. But sometimes they like to patch that too. Because you can bully a person. Because on my 6 8 small four, I got a 92 strength. Y'all like dang 92 strength. Yeah. Now look, that big driver, that badge is very useful on this game. I feel like it's very useful. It's Hall of Fame. You should be able to use it. If you know how to, you know, really drive to the rim and get to that rim, you feel me? Now, go physical handles. Physical handles is a good badge on this game. Physical handles give you, like, different moves where you throw the ball between your opponent's legs and all types of other stuff like that. If you need to see how physical handles work, look on the YouTube shorts on my YouTube channel. I made a whole little video about it. That badge is good. Now, that's why this build is kind of good because sometimes when you need bailout plays on this game, gold physical hands or just physical handles in general it just might kick in just just like that randomly there's no telling when it might kick in i'm not going out to you but yeah physical handles is good like i said bulldozer as i was saying about it sometimes 2k they let you bulldoze your opponent but then they'll throw you out of animation i don't know when they start doing that or what patch they start allowing that to handle 
but it kind of eliminated boils just a little bit. But since you're a small four and you're 6'10", it should work more than my 6'8". I'm just saying. I'm not going to lie to you. But as you can see right here, I was trying to see what I could tweak, what I couldn't tweak, what things I could make better, what things that were useless in some categories. That's what I was kind of doing here. I was trying to tweak the playmaking, and I was trying to tweak the playmaking a little bit, but not really affect it too much, just because you really don't need to dribble on the build like this. You're really going to be dunking, shooting, doing mostly everything you can to really. Grabbing boards, you know, trying to protect the paint as much as you can. So I was really just playing with the play, making to see if, you know, it could really affect the game or give you a better badge, you know, because sometimes those one little attribute point can change a whole badge in the entire game. It'll be like, oh, I didn't even know I could get that badge. But as you can see, I'm mostly done with this build. Now, look, the shades of this build do come out to, you know, they got the clippers. The Nuggets you got MPJ, Lamar Odom, and Franz Wagner. That's really decent. Not really too bad. I know Lamar was cold. But you see, the build title comes out as the Inside the Arc Finisher. Now, look, man, look, if you like content like this, if you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if you do. Let me know in the comment section if you do choose to make this build. It's been your boy Greg. Go crazy, go crazy. We still out here grinding like always, man, and I'm out. Peace.